Hey everyone, Unicomics here, and I'm going to be talking about how to sketch for your artwork and just in general. Um, whether you just want to sit down for 30 minutes and do a little bit of a sketch sort of thing, and you're wondering, oh, I've spent like 30 minutes doing this one sketch and it's not even finished. And I'm just going to talk about my experience on how to improve on that and how to make sure that you sketch a little bit faster than you might think you need to sketch. In my experience, when I've, uh, as you, well, as you may see in front of you, uh, I'm just doing a basic sketch layout of how I did this entire thing to begin with. And I just basically, I just use the really roughest forms of sketching. I'll just make sure I've got the basic shapes in there, the circles, the little squares. Adding a little bit of 3D-ness to the image. And I did this roughly in about four minutes. Some people can, some people spend less time than that when it comes to sketching. Quite frankly, that's what I think most artists should spend time when it comes to like the base sketch, getting the idea down. Because what I've noticed with like new uh, artists or artists come into doing more art digitally and traditionally is they tend to spend a little bit more time on the base sketch than they need to rather than just focusing on the actual drawing aspect. When it comes to putting your ideas down like you've got it in your head but you can't quite get it out and a good way of doing that is sketching it out as efficiently as fast as possible and that's how I do it is I usually what I do is I try to uh, test myself, I'll sketch for a little bit and I'll sketch for like 10 minutes and then I'll time myself to sketch for an even short amount of time sort of thing and, I, and doing this makes you get better at it, makes you faster, makes you more confident in your line work. I'm sure you'll find on YouTube there are plenty of uh, speed sketching videos, you'll see them do like 10 minute sketches, 5 minute sketches, even 1 minute sketches that I even I haven't even been able to do myself yet. It's really something that I think every artist should get into is basically try to get their ideas in the thumbnail or something really quick and easy so that way they're not bogged down on making sure they've got the idea as they're drawing because the idea is in your brain, it's already there you just got to figure out how to get it onto the paper as fast as possible. Um, so obviously, once you've seen that base sketch that I did, you obviously see the other sketch. And this is the, this is the important part of the image. This is where you start putting uh, like a more clearer idea of what you've, what you've sketched down. Because you've now got the shapes in there. You know where you're placing your people. You know where you're placing objects, that sort of thing. And it really, really helps when it comes to uh, forming your image when you've got like that base sketch in there. So it's there, it's done. And then you can just draw over that um, with a different type of sketch. And it just, it, it just helps the flow of your, of your work. And then you'll begin to realize how much faster you are when it comes to sketching, drawing, inking, and coloring and and if you want post-processing uh, of the image however you want like adding blur and all those other fancy uh, color correction um, uh, uh, stages that you want to bring to an image um, so I hope you like this week's image uh, I, this is something that I've been kind of working on myself uh, for a little bit uh, using these characters you may have noticed that I put like a little web comic on on Twitter uh, like previews of it and it's just like it's just these characters that I've been that I've been drawing recently and I figured why not just use a let's draw and do like a scene that I've uh, been thinking about for a while of doing and um, and I've never really had I never really thought about doing it until now I guess and um, I don't know I like I like drawing food it's really fun and it kind of makes you hungry while you're doing it too um, so uh, there are like plenty of other ways of doing um, uh, like sketching or planning out an image you don't even have to use uh, a pen and paper to plan it you can probably use a 3d program which you put little uh, 3d models in pose them and um, and then draw from there sort of thing um, if you want to see something like that, let me know in the comments. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really had fun with this one, especially when it came to like coloring, because it was something that I don't normally do where I usually just color it and then I add a layer where I just like use uh, a layer blend uh, blending um, tool and then and then move on from there I don't normally just paint uh, the shade onto it so it was a really fun image and I hope you really enjoyed it um, so let me know down in the comments what you thought of it and also suggest some drawings that I could do uh, for future videos. I know I've seen a couple of you that want me to do some uh, Bed Wars drawings so I might do that next week and if you want me to do those 3D stage uh, setup drawings uh, also let me know uh, because I think that would be very interesting to uh, do a video on and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like on the video and remember hit that bell for more content just like this one so thank you for watching, bye everyone!